I'm Chana, and I got cool tone on my abs and glutes. As a single mom and a professional, busy is an understatement. I want it to be firmer. Extra Yo, what's up? D7 here. Back with another RPG Maker game. I believe this time is VX, but yeah, um, disclaimer, it's going to be a short stream. I don't think it's a long game because it is 50 megabytes. It is 50 megabytes, but the developer said there's hours and hours and hours of gameplay. Not sure how that's possible with 50 megabytes, but I guess we're going to see. This is going to be an interesting game. This is going to be an interesting game to, you know, it's, it's one of the smallest. So yeah, let's freaking go. It's called Got Spielier. It's German. I believe it stands for God Player, if I'm not mistaken. Harlequin could translate for me. <laughs> he could translate for me if if what it is. I'm not sure what it is. Photosynthesis seizure warning. A very small percentage of people may experience a seizure when exposed to certain visuals. Images. Including flashing lights or patterns that may appear in video games. Even people who have no history of seizures or epilepsy may have an undiagnosed condition that can cause the photosensitive, photosensitive epileptic seizures while playing video games. Immediately stop playing and consult a doctor if you experience any symptoms. <laughs> so, if any of you guys is epileptic, do not watch this game. You have been warned. D7 
do not take any responsibilities or anything uh, if something happened to you in the privacy of your own home. I have nothing to do with it. All right, so let's go ahead and start this game. Uh, Quit Studios. I mean, Oxygen Studios is the developer. <laughs> okay, it's a press to start. All right. So this is a hover game. So I guess I have to play with my mouse. I have to play with my mouse. So Harlequin verified that this game means God player. All right. So I guess this is where the epilepsy comes in. Because it's going like crazy. It's, it's using the RTP uh, parallax background. So what 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 is going on? Okay. Uh, we are a dog. And there's four heroes. One, two, three, four. That we see. Okay. Oh, I'm using the keyboard. Uh, I'm using the keyboard, my guy. The whole game not going to be flashing, I hope. <laughs> I, hope I hope not either, but it looked like it's a pagoda with uh with these flashing backgrounds. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the meaning of this game. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Hello, my name is One. I was born in the rural town of Ye. I'm I'm a depressive person. Nice to meet you. Okay. Hello, my name is Two. I was born in the city of Astorga. I'm a happy person. Nice to meet you. Alright. Hello, my name is Three. I was born in the country of Rumen. I'm an angry person. Nice to meet you. Okay. Hello, my name is Four. I was born in the country of Jork. I'm a dumb person. Nice to meet you. Okay. Okay. Uh, heroes shoving their mental health issues right in your face at the meeting. At the first meeting. I don't know what's going on, but... Let's see. Alright, so there's no main menu. Well, there's no menu. We're the dog. Uh so where can we travel to? Okay. So I guess the last place we can go is inside the building. Alright. Welcome, Dulti. I bet I bet you don't know why you are here. Maybe the words of God were ambiguous, to say at least. Or perhaps a combination of words and images made you believe you knew what kind of game you were going to play. That is a trait I have always found amusing about humans. When they find something that's up their liking. They think it's made just for them. Their lives follow an egocentric narrative. Everyone see themselves as protagonists. In their own micro microcosmos. While believing that everyone else is secondary actor at best. Strange. They put all of these seven personalities into the game. <laughs> Strange, is it not? You are here because you like open world games. You just thought this product was fitting, made just for you. But have you ever thought about someone else besides yourself? I suppose a picture is worth a thousand words. Follow me, please. I will take you to the chamber where God awaits. Oh. And this is weird. Dolty. Like, what is Dolty? What is Dolty? What is that? Seems like I've seen that name before.
This look like a raffle wood game. Without the 3D. This is God. It is not what humans have thought of it during the entirety of their history. It is just a vessel for every soul that has died on planet Earth. Strangely, it is displaying a smile on his face. Should not be sad. What <laughs> man, Indy, man. I should have had you play this game. What the heck did I log into? DSB Wizard, this game is 50 megabytes. The developer, over the span of a couple of days, asked me to play this game. So, this is what I'm doing. Poverty, climate change, violence. That is all we hear from humans here. But at the end, there is just a sign of pure happiness. Showing across the land, the face of life itself. At why is not your soul there inside God? Well, that is because you have been chosen. But do not think it's because you are special. It was a casualty. Okay, they're showing the maps. Alright. You saw those pictures. Each second it passes, God creates a new world. It's not a rational process. God itself cannot think. It is an unconscious Demiurge. God creates world, yes, but they are not functional. Someone must have opened them so that life can be developed. And this is where and this is where world openers come in. World openers are chosen randomly by God. That is why someone like you be, can become a relevant individual. Otherwise you would be you still be a player. A person who think they deserve everything served to them on the silver plate. While giving nothing in return. Your days as a player ends here. In the plane where time does not flow. The realm of pre-existence. If you are dead. No, your soul ascends to this place. But was copied in your body. You're alive on earth. Even though you can't turn back. And return to your previous life. You have a new role. As a world opener. You, you were useless back then. On earth. It is the moment of your redemption. Okay. So we are a world opener. Okay. So we got music. Shop. Background weather. One, two, three. Okay. The developer did send me a message saying that. I got to hit the S button on the key to open the menu. So if I hit, okay, it says gold zero required gold to win. I need ninety nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine gold to win. So I need all nines to win. I have no gold. All right. So I guess this is where the mouse come in. Music, choose a song, selling, I'm Schmerz, Der Selimore, D. Prozen, Der Selim. I don't know, I, I guess this is German, but did they say um, you can listen to custom soundtrack? So I guess this is the custom soundtrack. Sounds weird, like some... Double worship music. <laughs> Souls in pain. Soul murder. Princess of souls. Thank you Harlequin for uh, translating. So Celine. Is soul. Oh my gosh. What is this? Okay, uh, hold on, hold on. The game didn't crash. Background one. Background two. Background three. Weather. Okay, so weather one is no animation. Two, you get rain. And three, you get some... Yo, not Don Knotts. Thank you for the raid, my guy. 
Thank you for the raid, Mr. Not Don Knotts. Let me give you a shout out real quick. Because I do not know what I'm doing with this project. I I I, I don't know what game is this, but it is a weird one that's messing up my keyboard. But y'all guys know who Not Don Knotts is. He's a freaking legend. He's a let's player that plays pretty much uh retros, uh good games that is modern and sometimes he may throw a little bit of rpg maker games in there as well hot cross appreciate appreciate joining the raid as well so you either get blood rain or blood snow yeah okay so if i tap on the world it opens up and we go to another world so we are a world opener so that's what it is. So do we make different combinations? And maybe we can open up the world. Okay. So all it's doing is opening up the world. Sorry. I got this. Because it's VX, I'm using the program to force it into... uh you know, um, full screen. Oh, what is this? Open up the world. Weather. Ah, what is this shop? Darn it. What would you like to buy? Double coin gainer, auto clicker, or nothing? It'd be a hundred coins. Do you want it? I'm afraid you don't have the money. Thank you for coming. Have a nice day. Alright, so how much coins do I got? I got 24 coins. So, I mean, I got 24 gold. So, I need this many to win. So, is this the game? We just opening up boxes? Just like this. Hmm. It's a dang clicker game. <laughs> ah. Let's see. Let's see how. Okay, so X tell us how much we got. So I got fifty gold. I got fifty gold right now. So fifty more world openers. <laughs> But how you gonna get 99 million? So you need to click this thing 99 million times? Loot Box Boy. It's 2017. YouTube meta as a game. <laughs> get an auto clicker and watch the game play itself. <laughs> oh man. It ain't much, but it's an honest job. <laughs> a world opener. That's 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 what we're playing as. A world opener. This is weird. The plot is a player. We are supposed to think that we're playing the open world RPG, but them days are over, and our only job is to open up worlds. That's what the plot is. Alright, so let's see how much coins we got. We got 111. So let's shop. 
Only thing we could buy is double coins. Okay, so we bought double coins. Okay, so you cannot buy. You cannot buy like triple coin or nothing like that. So I got 11 gold. I got 11 gold. So let's see if we actually get double. So I got 13. So the auto clicker. We need 300. So. <laughs> I guess. Uh, I don't know what to say man. How, how was y'all. How was y'all. Um, how was y'all day? Y'all had a good day today? My day was really good. I guess. Until uh, I played this game. <laughs> when I played this game, I guess, you know, my day got a little bit worse. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Renzai? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Oh, man. Even the even this game is, is calling in for the sets box. Appreciate getting rid of the sets box. Frankie Pistol Show, that game genre usually adds some get more gimmicks as you play. But I'm not sure this one will. Exactly. Exactly. And there's no way, uh... <laughs> there's no way I'll be able to make 99 million coins. There's no freaking way. Even with Auto Clicker. You know how many days that, that's going to take? Okay, so we almost we almost got 300. We gonna give it a shot. We gonna give it a shot. Maybe if we buy the auto clicker, it'll open up something. It'll open up a different object. You know, like maybe a different item. Once you uh buy the rest. Yeah. You're making a comment. Cool. Oh yeah, uh one man Andy, I wanna pick your brain about uh the message. I wanted to talk to you during the stream about that. So, yeah. Imagine the full actual RPG that forced you to play through something like this before you actually get the access to the game. Oh, man, I would hate it. Well, the dev told you to have hours and hours and hours of gameplay. He sure did. <laughs> But maybe we get to update our clicks. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. And this is, once again, D7 playing the game so you don't have to play it. You know what I mean? You see what I do for you guys? You see, I, I go through the fire for you guys. Like, and this is a commercial title too, guys. It You got to pay money for this game. The developers say... Even though it's one dollar, I said, "Nah, buddy, you gotta give it to me for free." Because what if it's not a not a bad game? What if this is not not a bad game? I will be upset. Even even after spending one dollar, I will be upset, highly upset. Exactly. All right, so let's. See how much money I got. I got 341. So I can buy the auto clicker. Auto clicker. 300 gold. Yes, I want it. Thank you for buying it. Have a nice day. Okay, so it's auto clicker. I'm afraid we are out of stock. Come again later. They can't even spell. They can't even spell again correct. A G A S I N. It's again. This is a commercial game. It is. It's an auto clicker where we are destined to uh, open up worlds. That's our purpose is to open up world boxes. That's the game. That's the game. Sad. Oh man, but this is a dollar. 
That's a little something. Nah, don't defend this developer because he's a German as well. Do not defend this developer because he's German as well. This is a horrible, <laughs> especially a commercial game. One dollar. It is going a little bit faster, but I don't think we are going to get 99 million points this way. So if you do the math, this thing got to go over at least, at least a million times. Uh, 66 million times. That's a lot, man. That's a lot. And I think my computer, <laughs> German life. I think my computer won't be able to handle this type of strain. I don't think it, I don't think it's powerful enough to handle that. Weird, what's going on? Weird said it's only a dollar. I heard they go a long way if you invent it right. Oh man. This is it. This is it. I could change the weather. I could I can make it uh snow. I could change the backgrounds. I can make it stop raining. Yeah, this is all I can do. I couldn't release a game like this. I honestly be ashamed of myself. It's an RPG maker idol game. But with no battles. At least with the idols. You can level up your player. You can uh, buy weapons. You can, you know. You get experience. You get gold. So. I have. 59. I got 5,000. And 31 gold. I need. 99 million more. I'm having a ball. This is what y'all like. This is what y'all like. I'm thinking about using the editor. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. I, I should use the editor and give myself all that gold. Should I use the editor and give myself the max gold to see what will happen after? <laughs> Cause there's no way we're gonna get that much and we can't we cannot buy nothing else the shop is out of stock let's change the music see what they have to offer shucks there's no more upgrades that's it Do it. <laughs> oh, man. That's the whole point of an idol game. <laughs> when you cheat at Box Clicker, you really unbox yourself. But what's the... There's nothing to do. I don't know. I don't think this game is... I don't think this game is smart enough to detect you cheating. Unless that's what the developer wants you to do. So I only got a hundred. I only got 10,000 gold. There's no way I'd be able to make this. So let's, for the sake of it, man, for the sake of it, let's, uh, let's, um, how do you even save this game? So I don't think I could get a save file. In order to even experiment with that. Because this is ridiculous. 
Alright, close this game. Saving game. Okay, so it's saving the game. Okay, here's our here's our save file. So let me pull up a uh a hex uh, editor. All right. Let me copy this save. Can y'all see me? Can y'all see me? Yeah, you can see me. Y'all can see me. The whole point of our game is the infinite upgrades. They made this crap and want money for it. <laughs> That's exactly what they did. All right, so let's 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 have a little fun. Matter of fact, let me make let me copy this. So I could have the original save. All right. So according to the Hetz editor, we are on level 32. We are on level 32. There's only. There's only three, four variables in this game. So this isn't a game at all. It's only four variables. Like, there's no armor, there's no weapons, there's not even any stats set, or no, uh, no hero stats. So let's give us 99,999. What was it? 99,999. Okay, now it don't want to... Okay. 99,000. I don't want to give us too much. All right. Let's give us that. Ah, come on. All right. So let me get that file. Let's go. Delete that. Oh no. I messed up. Let's rename this. What is going on? Don't want to delete. Is it still thinking I'm clicking on the game? Rename. Come on, why are you not deleting? My goodness. All right. Save. Do I have to have it save one? There we go. Alright, let's restart this freaking game. Alright. Moment of truth, programmer Jeff. Interesting anti cheat idea in high D757 gaming. What is going on, programmer Jeff? But there's nothing in the files to actually. It would just need to check if you ever reach a specific number or cash if you have skipped past the. Okay. But there's no gold to this game or anything. Let's see. Let's see. I don't see myself leaving my computer on 
for this because there's no way you're going to win. <laughs> there's no freaking way you're going to win. Maybe it can detect you cheated. I don't know. But I'm not going to sit here and get Matt's gold. You know, Matt's gold that the engine allows you to get. There's no way. I can't do that in a stream. Okay, it didn't load my save. My save did not load. Hold on. So maybe that was wrong. <clears throat> maybe that was wrong. I deleted so many stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, I see what I did wrong. That's the correct save. That's what I'm thinking. It's going to call you a cheater regardless. <laughs> going to call you a cheater regardless. And have you noticed the uh the screenshots? It still got uh it still got uh you need to activate windows. Like I feel like this is a uh what you call it? A um a, like a uh a like a hat game. You know like a joke. All right, so we're continuing. Okay, so we actually won. We got all gold. Required gold to win. Oh, that was the other value. Okay. You have proven your worth as a world opener. Congratulations. If you have not cheated in order to reach this meaningless ending message, I suggest you to get a job. Seriously. You have proven your worth as a world opener. Congratulations. If you have not cheated in order to reach this meaningless ending message, I suggest you get a job. Seriously. Okay, it's, it clapped and it just died. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so that was the other variable. Okay, I see it did and my save is gone. The save is gone. So that was a cheat. That was a cheat. Uh, what do you call it? A uh, a cheat thing. It can detect you cheated because the variable there's a variable of the gold that I need left. Yeah. Insert the value. So let's play around with this. Uh, it says we need nine. Nine hundred nine 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 three seven seven six gold left. So we change this to one. Let's change that to one because the game already had the, the value of what we need left. So let's change that to one gold. Let's change that to one. That way, uh. And give us nine, 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 eight. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think I put too many nines. Three. Yeah, let's do that. 
we change the variable to one showing that we need just one gold left instead of 9,999 and maybe that uh that should that should you know bypass the cheat the cheat detection oh my gosh All right, let's try it now, guys. Let's try it now. Let's freaking try this now. Oh, man. You need 999,999 gold to win, and the most you get is two every time you open up the box. All right, so... We tricked the game saying that we need one gold left. But we have 99,998,000 now. Okay, so it's negative 18 because we, we getting. Alright. So we did change that variable. See, either way, it's going to say this. If you have not cheated in order to reach this meaningless, I suggest you get a job seriously. So either way, you're going to get this message. This is the game. This is the game. This is the game. And, of course, it's considered a game over and it deletes your save. Just like how Bird Bunch is doing their game. All right, so we're going to give this game a uh, a D7 score. We're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Then, uh... Uh, 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 Let's give this a D7 score because any game that I play after, uh... During any time this year, it's going to get a score. All right, so the game is called Experiment. Experiment. Now my keyboard want to act up. Why is it doing this? Experiment got something. <laughs> got. Uh, got milk. Got milk. You think there was any effort like a cheat detection in this pile of garble? If you have not cheated, didn't even bother anti-cheat protection. <laughs> Be brutal for once, D7. Am I always brutal? I think I'm the brutalest person. Okay, this is by uh, Oxygen Studios. All right, so the developer, it is, this is more like a gab game than a game that's, um, you know, to be taken serious. Even at, Even the story of this game, this is the story. This is the story. You wake up at a shrine in the middle of nowhere. You do not know what to do or why you are here to begin with. But strangely, there is someone waiting for you at the sacred place. Who is God? Soon you find out your life will never be the same. God is not what you think it is. In this wake walking simulator, you're not walking. RPG hybrid, you will meet four characters with unique personalities and backstories. Meanwhile, I don't think that was unique. Somebody's depressed. Somebody's uh, happy. Somebody's dumb. All right. So, uh, story didn't match what you said. Um, go through hours and hours of gameplay while being challenged by thought-provoking questions about our role in life. God figures, God's figure, destiny, and the human condition. Explore surreal landscapes that will make you see the world in a different light. See everything through the eyes of a victim of fate. Um, we didn't play none of that. We did not play any of that. 
None of that happened in this game. None of that. Um, for the story, um, it is a joke about the Steam game store paid description about being worthless. I give it a, I give it a two. Because the only thing that we ever actually did was be in the box opener. That's the only thing we did was open boxes. So I give it a two. Mapping. Mapping was introduced with a uh, flashing parallax screen that can actually give somebody a seizure. You definitely wasn't lying about that. You was not lying that this can cause somebody to have a seizure or whatnot. But, you know, I thought the pagoda, the all-white pagoda with the flash in it. I mean, I thought it was unique, but, you know... Wasn't really any purpose to think about, you know, just something silly. So the mapping, I give the mapping a two. Could be better than that. Amiance, Amiance didn't really quite understood what the heck was going on. But I can say this. I can say this. Hold on, let me zoom this for you guys. Sorry about that. I can say this, and I will say this. Uh, the music was pretty cool. Like, the original music was pretty cool, but given the fact that this is a gab game, I'm not sure if the music was authentic. But if it is, you know, good selection of music. But other than that, uh, I just thought the game... Could have been better. So I give this because the music was pretty dope and unique. I give it a 3.5 for the ambiance. Characters and battles, there wasn't any. There wasn't any, so but I'ma give the mechanic, I'm gonna judge the mechanic. Um you hold the mouse in order to rotate the screen. Like like to open up the boxes. Uh that that the confirm button. You hold the confirm button and it automatically open up the boxes. Then you got the option to buy an auto clicker for 300. And another option to buy double gold for a hundred. After you exhaust those options, you cannot buy a triple or a quadruple you will figure once you get so much gold you should be able to buy you know upgrade upgrade the uh the gold that's gained you can't so i get the meaning of hours and hours of 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 trying to you know get the players to just sit there and just stare at their screen until they get 99 million coins which would take literally days so mechanics definitely could be better but I, I i do what you're trying to i do see what you're trying to do but i think uh it's too brutal it's too brutal and it gets boring really quick but the good thing about it you could walk away and not have to worry about it but still when i when I play a game, I want to be able to see and enjoy the game. So, I agree with not very soft. One and a half. One and a half. Alright. For experience. Experience. I had... It was a joke. And it was funny. It was funny. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, the whole God is just a writing master soul charting out the world. The thing is pretty good. Experience. This is a commercial game. It's a dollar. It's a dollar. But that's a dollar. That has to work for to play a game 
that really has no ending. This game has no ending at all. So. I don't know. I don't know, but before... Yeah, even even if I... I don't know. I don't know. The game could have been better. You know, if it wasn't for the chat, I wouldn't even really bother with this game. So, just because of chat interaction and us having fun, I give it... I would give the experience a solid three. Ashley had a good time with the chat. That's all that matters. <laughs> so the overall score is a 2.4. It's a 2.4. So it's a one star game, unfortunately. One star game. I, I really don't know the meaning. Like, like the joke at the end kind of confirms, you know, this is a joke game. But maybe, maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't know. So the price of this game is $1. $1. And how much will I pay for this game? <laughs> I will pay... 99 cents for this game because I have to put a price down. I have to put a price down and I got to get the developer. At least he tried. At least he tried. So, this is the question, man. I, I, I really feel like this could be. The first no for not a bad game. This could be the first no for not being not a bad game because it, I mean, like the fact that you're asking for money, the fact that you're asking for money for this, and but given the fact that you told us that we are not going to be playing the game, you thought you were going to be playing. Right? You said, like, the description of the game. This is the thing. See, this, this is where this developer is smart. Well, I won't say smart, but check this out. He's describing... He's describing the game... As if you are going on this wonderful adventure. According to the screenshots. Look, look at the screenshots. According to the screenshots. According to the screenshots. You're about to play an adventure. But. But check this out. Check this out. If you notice this screenshot that's in the game. That's in the game. If you notice these screenshots, it says activate. It's in Spanish. Activate windows. On these screen, on these shots. Activate windows. Activate windows. Did like the good the good screenshots the good screenshots there's no activate windows so I'm tell I'm thinking this was taken from somewhere else this could have been belonged to somebody else's game because wouldn't the screenshots be consistent if they made the screenshots on the computer it would have said activate windows so these screenshots these screenshots was uh, was taken from somewhere else. So these could be stolen. You know what I'm saying? 
this could be stolen. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, with that being said, I don't like being tricked. I don't like being making a fool out of, especially with the bait and switch. So this is what D7 is going to do. Zeros. Zeros all across the board. All across the board. All across the board because it doesn't make any sense. It don't make any sense, man. Zero. Zero all across the board. I will pay zero dollars for this. I will pay zero freaking dollars for this. It is. And it gets our first no for not a bad game. Because this is crazy. This is crazy. Like, I would, I would rather you, I would rather respect, you know, if you had the, uh, the plot that we got in the game. You feel what I'm saying? And they're another. This is a creator. They just released this. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It looks like they just released this. They won a dollar. <laughs> they won a dollar. It's a. It's a strong seizure. Play your own risk. Again, activate windows. Activate windows. Activate windows. Activate windows. Activate windows. It's the same thing. Phone for hiring. Like. I don't know what this is. So. <laughs> I don't know. It, it could have been a better game. But apparently. I really don't know what to make of it. So I can't really authenticate it with. With um, it being a legit game. Given the fact that. It's a bait and switch. You know what I mean. It's bait and freaking switch. They just released this game. Like. Literally just released it. They could be watching the stream right now. They could be watching it. <laughs> they could be watching this stream. Right freaking now yo. Right freaking now. So, I don't know, man. I don't know, but this is definitely bait and switch. We're not getting what we paid for, but when we play the game, after we pay the dollar, you saying, hey, you're not playing what, uh, what um, we're supposed to be playing. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's freaking crazy. So, if the developer hit me up after this, say, hey, D7, you got it wrong. And it showed me uh, screenshots about how the game is supposed to be actually. Then I would make a change. But right now, all zeros and no for not a bad game. Because the bait and switch. You know what I mean? Ah, I would never thought this day would come to this. I would never thought this day would come to this. Wow, man. I'm going to tell my grandkids about the time D7 said it was a bad game. I know, man. I know. I know. I know. I know. But, man, zeros. Oh, my gosh. I thought I was going to give this to Zola's Nightmare. But, oh, man. Oh, man. Yo, what's up, Patience? How you doing, man? How you doing? But it was a funny game, though. But, you know... I, I don't support the, the bait and switch. It was a free game. That's a different story. That's a different story. But, you know, when you ask it for money, I mean, I, I, I think even if it's a dollar, that's not fair. I don't think that's fair. And something could be wrong with this game, too. Like, it, it feels like it feels like uh, it's uh, it could hack your computer. You know what I'm saying? It could ha I don't know. Real Tron said, I was really hoping our dying world would get the first bad game. What a bummer. Yeah, right. I think you won't be able to go to sleep. I don't think you'll be able to go to sleep. But, yeah, um, before I leave, 
before I leave, can you guys hear me good? I'm not sure if the music is loud, but I mean, this is legit fraud. If not all what you've been told you get. Yeah, it, it technically is. It technically is. So before I leave, um, a few streams ago, a few streams ago, I was saying uh, I would like uh, for most of the Let's Players, like the stream RP, that stream RPG Maker games, I would like some of the Let's Players to, uh, to get together and uh, do some do some uh, dev reviews or whatnot. Um, uh, yo, what's up, Will Black? Where you been? Where you been, my guy? Where you been? But yeah, um, uh, like I was, what the heck is going on? Harlequins, just... what? Harlequins for 17 months? Wow. That's a long time, my guy. That is a long time. That's a long time. But like I was saying. I had an idea where I'm, I'm really trying to do more for the RPG Maker community where um, we could... No, no, no. I didn't pay for it. The developer actually sent me the game. I didn't pay for it, Chris. I did not pay for it. I did not pay for this game at all. I did not pay for this game at all. The developer sent it to me. I said, I'm not going to buy this game. You asked me to do a Let's Play. You got to send me the game. I don't spend because it could be a not a bad game. It could be a not not a bad game. And apparently it was a not not a bad game. But I appreciate it though, you know, <laughs> for the trauma. But yeah, like I was, I was. I was telling one man, Indy. I was telling, oh, you're in Vietnam? Wow, awesome, dude. I was telling one man, Indy, that I would like um, for some of the Let's Players that stream RPG Maker games, like literally stream RPG Maker games. And, um, and uh, we need to like come together like certain days of the month and have like a little podcast going on. You know what I mean? Like maybe talk about uh the games that's that's going on in the RPG maker world. You know, cause I know one man Indy, he's all over the place. He's all over the place with the the interviews, the uh the discussion topics all that stuff. And you don't really see a lot of discussion topics for the RPG maker community. So I figure, you know, why not why not have something like that where we could um you know just talk about RPG maker games that's either in the making or you know that's trending that's that could be successful. And start doing stuff like RPG Maker Game of the Month, where um, we 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 take all the games that we play and like kind of add it in a category, like put it in a category in the list, like like one man Indy play his games, you know he got his list, or the Nerd Mansion play his game, or Harlequin play their games, you know I play my games, and we all get together sometime in the month. And, you know, just talk about these games, give it a little bit more highlight and stuff like that. And maybe have like, you know, um, you know, like a, a game of the month type thing. Then at the end of the year, you know, maybe the best game for 2023. I figured that, you know, uh, we are equipped for that to do stuff like that. 
But uh, how it's going to get done, I mean, we need to get together and just figure it out because uh, I feel like we can definitely, we could definitely uh, have a lot of fun with the RPG Maker community because everybody else is doing it. Everybody else is doing it for for uh, other genres. Like you got your your COD moments or your Apex Legends moment, but. Let's have some RPG maker moment. And uh, One Man Indies definitely inspired me in many ways where uh, I feel like it could be possible. It could be possible. So, yeah, that's why that's why I wanted to talk. To, I wanted to bring it up now instead of like an email. That way, uh, I feel like you know it's faster communication. You know this way. You know that way I could get all my thoughts out. You know why. I'm here, you know, so, you know, cats like me, you, Nerd Mansion, you know, the Let's Players, the Let's Players that, 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 um, that have a different, because we, we, we play RPG Maker. We know some developers don't play RPG Maker, so we're not going to ask them to get too involved because they're busy developing their own game they already got a lot of time on their hands i know you developing your game the nerd mansion doing his game harlequin doing his game but you guys still take the time out to stream rpg maker games and dj dj does it too he streams rpg maker games uh from time to time as well so yeah i mean that's that's a thought that's a thought that we probably can make happen and um how we gonna do it you know we'll figure that out we can figure that out but i'm definitely down for that i'm definitely down for doing something like that you know and that that could go in that could go for all types of interviews and and stuff like that you know i just want to highlight the rpg maker community and try to bring everybody together everybody together like we already one bit family, but we could be a bigger family. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just throwing it out there. I'm throwing it out there. I'm planting the seed. I just planted the seed. So if you want to latch on, then yeah, we could definitely do that. We could definitely, yeah, Discord chat, we could definitely do that. So, um, you know, we could definitely have some good candidates and talk about it and definitely i know monkey king twitch is definitely down because his main idea was to do something for the rpg maker community but um but yeah we could definitely get him in the midst too i i just want to let y'all guys know i had that on my mind because you know i really do appreciate Y'all hard work. I really do. I appreciate y'all hard work. Like, I really do. And uh, I feel like you guys definitely, definitely uh, need more recognition and um, exposure that much we can. You know what I'm saying? We, we definitely need to... Uh, Start doing fun stuff for RPG Maker instead of just streaming all day. Streaming these games like this. So developer, I'm sorry, guy. I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> yeah, somebody emailed me this. Somebody emailed me this. But don't be mad at me, developer. Don't be mad at me. But, uh, you know, um, you got to be you got to be honest from the get go. I feel I feel like your game is uh, a little bit suspect. Well, highly suspect with with um, the description, you know, because from screenshot wise, it looks great. It looks awesome. It looks wonderful. But but um, it's just it's just not honest. It's just not honest. And it's violent too. You know what I'm saying? It's violent. I'ma crash the podcast and say everybody game suck. Nah, like really. 
like all honesty, all honesty, you know, like um I've been wanting to do the interviews. I've been one I'm still going to do interviews too. You know, I got to get Brent Rawson. I probably grab Ryan C. I probably do one on one man Indy. Definitely on Ozzy of in Israel. I got to do one on Harlequin. You know, what? whoever is down for an interview, I got to grab. But, you know, uh, the only person I, I felt that was doing the RPG Maker uh, was Cola. RPG uh, Cola. Yeah, he was doing them. And, and Benny Make Games. Yeah, Benny Make Games. He was doing a lot of good RPG Maker podcasts. But I felt like he didn't have like like the extra push to really blow it up out there. You know what I mean? And 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 since like a lot of the bigger RPG maker um streamers, you know, I don't know what they're really doing for as you know, RPG maker news or whatnot. Not like a new, well, it could be like a news channel, but you know, it's just a time where we get together and just chat about random RPG games, maybe what we played for the month and talk about it, you know, and you know, create extra content, whether that way people could tune in and watch a VOD of it and you know, and get insight to new games. You know, maybe we could challenge ourselves to play this many games and talk about it, you know, like, you know, like a pod, like they're doing podcasts, something like that. But I really think, I really think that would be dope. I really think that would be dope, though. I really think that would be dope. So, yeah, uh, let's give it a shot, guys. Let's give it a shot. Either, you know, whoever wants to, we could rotate and do it or whatever. So we'll figure out a way. We'll figure we'll figure a way to do this. But I, I think it would be a lot of fun. It would be a lot of fun to have even have Echo. Echo to join. Echo uh Paladin Echo. Great streamer. Stream he streams all types of games, but he does RPG maker games as well. You know what I'm saying? So he definitely has a great uh taste for games. And definitely he's a very honest critic critic as well he's very honest critic <laughs> very honest so yeah man i don't like seeing all them zeros man <laughs> i don't like seeing all them zeros yeah echo man it he it, it hurt my heart he had to leave but man i was so happy when he came back to the fold i was i was like oh my god thank you thank you echo thank you for coming back Thank you for coming back. So, one man, any, don't let me uh, sleep on this idea for so long. Uh, let let's just brainstorm. Maybe write down some facts and share it with each other, and maybe uh, get other people on board as well. Then we could have like a little chat, and we could talk about uh, you know maybe what we can do. You know, to get this thing going. I know Psychronic Games is definitely... I feel that he'll probably be down too, you know, to talk about certain RPG games. But um, he just started doing Let's Plays and stuff like that. So, we'll see down the future. But I think right now, uh, since we play all types of genres, all types of, you know, RPG games. Whether it's space or adventure or horror... You know, I think we're pretty much strong in that area. Why not just create a Discord group with all the people you want? Yeah, 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 yeah. We can do that. Create a Discord group. Come up with a name. Come up with a name and stuff like that. And we could just go from there. I think that would be fun, though. I think I would like this idea. I would like it. This idea is awesome. I'm so excited. Like, really, I'm excited. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's start a new journey. Let's go, man. I think we can do it. I really think we can do this. 
You know, we got to combine like Voltron, you know, Voltron, uh, Minosaur, uh, Devastator, you know what I mean? Computron, you know what I mean? Like, like we got to combine and for join forces because we are a force to be reckoned with. We are a force not to be messed with, for real. I really think uh, our charisma, our um, our energy, everything is on the positive. Everything is on the positive note. Uh, call it the D seven squad. Nah, I don't want. I don't want it to revolve around me because it's not about me. It's about everybody. I want. I want everybody to have a piece into this. You know what I'm saying? I just don't want it to revolve around D seven or one man Indy or Harlequin or DJ. You know, let's just create like you know something that we all could be a part of. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, so we'll, I definitely would keep you posted about what's going on. Yo, what's up, Bird Bunch? Don't mind the scores. Don't mind the scores. Don't look at the scores. Don't look at the scores. RPG Maker Podcast. Jack of all, uh, that's my dude, man. That's my guy. That's my guy. I'm mad that I missed the stream of... Uh, Brent's game, but I did catch the VOD and the scoring. I would definitely love to have Jack of All Ops involved in this too, because he's the one that really motivated me to stream RPG Maker game. I used to watch Jack of All Ops before I started this because um, the Trunks, Super Saiyan God Trunks. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Dragon Ball fan. He's a Dragon Ball fan. And when I saw that he had a blue hair, Super Saiyan God trunks, I had to watch the guy. I had to watch the guy, and I just fell in love with him. I just fell in love with that guy. But yeah, it's good to see him back streaming as well. It's good to see him back. He's back stronger than ever. Got a killer PC set up. I am freaking jealous. The guy offered to send me his controller that he didn't need. I was like, I'm great on that guy. Definitely appreciate it. But it's awesome that, you know, people people respect you and um and want to see you, you know, uh do great things as well. And I want to see them do great things as well too. Gurin Lagan. What who the heck is that? Uh Renzai. Who is Gurin Lagan? Is that a person? I don't know who that is. The score <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh my god It's about Aziel Aziel's gonna be putting time out And he's not in Oh, Aziel Guess who hit me up Guess who hit me up Yesterday You not gonna believe Who hit me up yesterday You is not gonna believe it Oh my gosh you is not going to believe who hit me up yesterday. Whoo. Oh, my gosh. Freaking Panchy Gaming. Panchy Gaming sent me a, e, uh, a DM on Twitch last night. He said, you're still around. Are you still around? He said, are you still around? And are you still streaming? I was like, oh, my gosh. I said, you need to come back. Just come back. Forget what happened in the past. Just come back and just enjoy streaming. Isaiah been to Israel. Know who Panchy Gaming is. It was a Discord we was a part of. And it just went down south. It just went sour. But um, I, met a, I met a lot of great people in that Discord. And, um, and the, uh, the creator just hit me up. Yeah, Panchy. Yep. Yeah. I said, man, go back stream. I, I like to see you streaming again. Like, like, open up another Discord. I will support you. I will support it. You know, you got to do it different, but I will definitely support you. You know, I didn't want to leave the Discord in the first place, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, a lot of stuff had to change. It had to change. 
<laughs> right thing. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Because the game advertised one way, but when you play the game, it's different. It's not what you paid for. So it got all zeros. It got all zeros. Yeah. Yeah. So we about to start a whole new Discord, guys. We about to start a whole new Discord because we are trying to uh we are trying to have a uh RPG maker podcast. Uh me, one man indie, and some other let's players. And uh we wanna uh talk about the games that we probably have played for the week or for the month, and maybe start having games of the month, RPG games of the month. You know, but we want to focus on games that maybe we have not played and also look more closely into uh, updated games by you guys as well. So we definitely want to do something like that. That's a show, an anime about combining mechs. I'm so far back in the anime. If it ain't Dragon Ball or, um, or um, pretty much Dragon Ball. I really don't know much, too much about anime, but I do like the topics. I do like to talk about it if I have knowledge in it. You know, that's that's the area for one man, Indy and Azia Ben Israel. These guys love anime. They love anime. You know what I mean? If I had time to watch TV like that, I would watch TV, but I don't have time like that. I have a job, guys. I have a job. I don't live in the basement. The RTP experience. That sounds like a good name, uh, Bird Bunch. I actually like that name. I actually like that name. But this is a fresh idea, though. This is a really fresh idea. This is a really fresh idea because I feel like, uh, you know, we can make a difference. We can make a difference. All right, Ryan C., good night, man. The Knock Knock Boys. Yeah, but the Not Not Boys definitely it is is surrounding me though. Not Not Noise is associated with me, pretty much. I don't want it. I don't want any glory from this. I don't want any glory from this. I want us to do this together. You know, we're brothers. We're brothers. <laughs> My cousin is getting me in the Power Rangers. Oh, I've been in the Power Rangers. I've been into that. Rest in peace to uh. The White Ranger and Green Ranger. Rest in peace. Still shocking. Still still shocking about what, you know, our childhood heroes is passing away. You know, you thinking that you're a celebrity. You got millions of dollars. Your life is easy. I mean, a lot of us, money is the answer to most problems. But people with the money... You think it's the answer to most of their problems, but it's not. And sometimes I sit back and realize, like, dang, man, like, you had, you had pretty much uh, the world. You know what I mean? You got something that majority of us don't have is money. But at the same time, you know, there are people too, and depression is real. Depression don't look at your, your wealth status or anything, you know. You definitely um, need help once you feel depressed. So uh, definitely prayers to, to those families as well. You know what I mean? Because the average person be like, oh, man, why he killed us? Though? He got all the money in the freaking world. You know what I mean? Like, real talk. Real talk. You got to ask yourself that sometimes. But depression, if you know people with depression, you know it's nothing to be played with. You know, it's nothing to be played with, especially, especially when it comes to their lives and and wanting them, you know, they want to take their own lives. So it's sad. It's sad that we have to deal with this. It's really sad. It's really sad. So that's that's why I'm so easy when I when I when I uh critique these games. You know, I gotta be I gotta be a sound, you know, a sound spirit because you don't know the story behind the developer. You don't know. You know what I mean? I and I don't want to be that person to uh add on to the depression because I rated their game a certain way. You know what I mean? Uh 
another example the uh the twitch guy uh the dancer twitch you know he killed himself from the ellen show he killed himself and when you look at his videos and stuff you know what i mean he he was a happy guy you know he had a family his wife and kids you know he had a beautiful family he had plenty of dough you know but he was depressed he was he was depressed and decided to take his take his own life so you you know you never know uh what somebody's going through you know what i mean uh robin williams um uh, uh the dude from soul train you know what i mean all depressed all depressed take their own lives it's sad but it's the world it's the world so Unless you guys got any more questions for me, I'm not going to hold y'all too much longer. My eyes are getting heavy. And uh, uh, one man, Indy, uh, we could talk more about this probably tomorrow. And um, we could just share ideas and, and get in touch with uh, the appropriate people we want involved in this. You know, I already, already got um, Kurt Cobain, yup. Yeah. already got people in mind. And I'm pretty sure you may have some people in mind. And, you know, maybe, you know, we could just keep it small until we grow. Until we grow. But, you know, most most definitely we... Uh, and it give us something to do. It give us something to freaking do. Because sometimes I be bored. Sometimes I be bored. Yeah. All right. All right. Peace. Yeah. 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 That's what's up. That's what's up. I know I could count on you. I know I could count on you. That dude, Ozzy up in Israel, can't count on this guy. Can't count on this guy. Not for nothing. Not for nothing. I can't count on him. <laughs> can't count on him. I got to just choke him out. Like, ah. That's how you get his attention. You talk about his Zola drawing. Say, oh, yeah, she looked pretty with her bald head, so. <laughs> with her pink eyebrows. You know, that's how you get That's how you get back at him. Thank you, sir. That's how you get back at that cat, but. I'm out, guys. Y'all have a good one. I will see you later. Peace, peace, peace.